Do you have enough food to eat every day? And water to cook, shower, and even water your flowers? You know that every choice you make has an effect on others around the world. But how much do you know about the effects of putting food on your plate? In Europe, we rely on other countries to grow a lot of our food. The developing world already devotes an area of farmland the same size as Germany to grow our food. But our land is already producing as much as it can, so we must import all this food to feed everyone. Right? Actually, we don't have to. We're not growing as much as we could in Europe because we don't have access to some technologies. So we rely on Asia, South America and Africa to meet our needs for food. It's great to support their economies, but we also use a lot of their natural resources. So, is there anything we could do in Europe to change this and become more self-sustaining? Actually, yes, we could increase the productivity of our existing land. And there is a way to grow more food on the same amount of land. And it even has environmental benefits. Too good to be true? The facts speak for themselves. With GM crops, 15 years of experience shows that 6 to 30% more food can be grown on the same amount of land. This means there's more land for wild plants and animals to flourish, too. Around 30% of food is lost before it can be harvested because it is eaten by pests. GM crops can help farmers target the pests before food is destroyed. They're good for the environment, too. In 2009, GM crops reduced global CO2 emissions by 17.7 billion kilograms. That's like taking more than 7 million of these off the road. But don't just take my word for it. 400 leading experts and stakeholders from the EU and 35 countries across the world agreed in the Foresight Report, The Future of Food and Farming, that there are real sustainable gains to be made by combining biotechnological, agronomic and agroecological approaches. Leading scientists say it is very hard to see how it would be remotely sensible to justify not using new technologies such as GM. And the World Health Organization has said GMOs offer the potential of increased productivity, improved nutritional values that can contribute directly to enhancing human health and development. By allowing access to safe technologies, such as the option of growing GM crops, Europe could feed itself better and take action to meet its responsibility to help produce enough food for the rest of the world. Good news for the 9 billion people who will live on planet Earth in 2050. For more information, visit seedfeedfood.eu.